everyone. Today's video is gonna be something a little bit different. I love saying that. I feel like I've been saying that a lot this year because I've been doing a lot of weird stuff. I've been having some strange ideas. I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know if this is gonna continue into 2019. We'll just have to see. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for standing by. But I do have to ask for a little more patience because today, we are doing something a little bit different. I am trying a new recipe. Actually, this recipe is new to me. It is old in general. So if you watch my vlog channel, you might have seen this book before. Or if you have a mom in general, you've probably seen this book before. It's a Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook, but this is a very old cookbook. This one is my mom. She let me borrow it. She's had it my entire life. This is the 1968 edition. So what year is this from? Well, my mama had one too, so it's back from uh, probably the 60s. They have a whole bunch of editions, I think starting in the 30s. Do not quote me, I don't know facts but if that's right like good job leanne i love you <laughs> she got it in the early 70s when she got married and she still uses it to this day i always wanted that. to make this pie that's in here just because the way it looks Where is that? So yeah this pie it's like an ice cream mint chocolate mint elegant fudge ribbon pie <laughs> Earlier this year, I was talking to her about some recipes. I was asking for some new recipes. I can't even say new recipes because I don't have recipes. I was just asking for some easy things that I could manage because in the last year, or at least since getting married, I've been trying to like up my like staying alive game because I'm trying to like take care of a family now. Like, yes, I got a dog, I got a husband. And let's be real, we've all been ignoring it so far. I need to take better care of me. So trying to learn how to cook. My mom is an incredible cook. And I don't think you really inherit those things. People always ask me like, can you cook your own such a good cook? I don't know. We don't have to talk about it. I've seen this book a lot but I never really looked at it because I didn't have to. So I was really looking at it and this thing is so interesting, especially the pictures, but also the recipes. And there are some very strange things in here. The original idea was for me to do a full Thanksgiving feast because in the back they have like party planning ideas and sample menus that you can do for different occasions. And yeah, that was a great idea, but then I broke my elbow and whatever, that was canceled. So I was looking at this last night and I was like, I wanna do a dessert. I wanna do like a cute holiday thing. And then I decided no, because I saw something. I had never seen before. Deep within chapter 14, salad and dressings, on page 288, you'll find the main dish salads. And there's a recipe called jellied chicken salad, and it is unspeakably gross sounding. And somehow it's also irresistible to me. I've got to make it, I've got to see it, and I'm going to try it. I'm gonna make it today with you, and then when Grant comes home from work tonight, we're gonna try it, and we'll let you know what it's like. I can't imagine that it's gonna be good, but this is what we're doing. <laughs> and actually, as I looked through the book, there are many different gelatin based situations in here. So there's like a cucumber cheese ring, sparkling beet cups. There are a bunch that are fruit based also, but the savory ones, those are the ones that really get me, like the tomato aspic. And I actually found a video on YouTube for a tomato aspic and Phyllis, shout out to you, love your video. Thank you for sharing your knowledge with the world. It's basically like tomato flavored jello. Can you imagine it? We're not gonna have to imagine it because I'm gonna try it. The jelly chicken salad of our dreams is about to be with us in my very home. Happy holidays, everybody. This is my gift to you, whether you wanted it or not. Let's do this. Okay, as we all know, step one of making any new recipe is getting in character. <laughs> I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go today. If you watch my vlog channel, you know I've been looking for these dresses for a while, and this one is by far my absolute favorite. I found it on Amazon, and I love this dress. I'm wearing a petticoat, I feel very in character, I feel like I should have a different name. Like, I don't know what kind of retro name suits me. You decide, let me know in the comments. Okay, now we're really ready. I got my supplies, I have my recipe, and I'm ready to go. I've kind of been procrastinating, but with Jell-O, you know, you have a little wait time in there, so I need to get cracking on this because I got mouths to feed. 
This is not a game. I'm gonna be real with you. I went with a few modern luxuries, pre-cut, pre-cooked things because I'm actually cooking food over here. A backup dinner, <laughs> just in case this doesn't work out. So here we have all of my ingredients. It's really not that many things, but I did have to go to the store for it, especially for this guy. I'm not sure if it's the right size, but it is the only one they had at my grocery store and I wasn't really willing to go anywhere else. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so the first step is to drain a small can of pineapple that is in syrup. Unfortunately, my grocery store only had really big ones that were in syrup. I didn't even know that existed. I only thought pineapple came in pineapple juice. Anyone else with me? I, maybe I'm just out of the loop. We're gonna drain it and hopefully this works with straight up pineapple juice. And you know what? When Grant and I were looking at these recipes last night, Grant was like, did anyone actually even make these or were they just trying to fill up the recipes and make new additions? I think people really made these aspic recipes, these jello molds, these crazy savory jellos, because I was watching that video by Phyllis and I was looking at comments and people were saying that they remember friends, neighbors, people around the holidays making these recipes and eating them and saying they were good. So yeah, shocking, but it really happened. I guess Jell-O was the new technology and you just had to get into it. All right, I think this is as drained as we're gonna get. I got some juice. Already, things are about to get interesting. This is my unflavored gelatin. Some of these recipes call for different flavor Jell-Os. And I even learned that back in the day, they started having savory flavor gelatin, like celery flavor. My mind is blown. For this one, we're using unflavored. We need two packets and we're dissolving it in half a cup of water. Whoa. Oh, it's already getting really thick. Ooh. You're only supposed to soften it in a half a cup of water and then we have to dissolve it in boiling chicken broth. Oh, it looks gross already. Kind of looks like applesauce. <laughs> I just got my chicken broth going and I just also realized I have something in my hair and I think I had something in my hair this whole time I've been recording. What, this is me cooking. This is how it goes. I think it's pineapple. How did I immediately get pineapple in my hair? I'm upset. Also, extremely upset about the consistency of this jello. Look what it's doing already. I thought it took time for jello to set up, but like it's becoming something very, very quickly. It is not going well. Just the consistency of all of this. I really can't believe people liked this back then. And I haven't even seen it yet. I haven't seen it in person yet and I can't believe it. My other question is, when did we all collectively just decide, you know, you know what this is? This is not okay, this is weird. Let's stop doing this. Let's stop putting shrimp in jello. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad that happened before I was born, but why am I bringing this back? What am I doing? So many questions. All right, next up, we need a quarter cup of lemon juice. Probably should have gone the easy way and just gotten those squeezy bottles of lemon juice, but I guess I didn't. Okay, wow, look what I just remembered I had. Thanks to my wedding. Thanks everybody. I also just realized I have a cut on my finger and it is burning. Nope, that's not enough. Oh, that might be enough. Our chicken broth is boiling, so now it's time to add in a couple of things like the salt. What's wrong with you? It won't come out. Okay, now we're adding our lemon juice and our pineapple juice and that nasty, nasty gelatin. Oh, it looks so gross. Ooh, 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 splash zone, wow. Oh my gosh, wow. There was no better way to do that. Don't even try to tell me there is. It almost seems like it instantly dissolved. It definitely didn't happen like that on Phyllis's video. Okay, we're turning off our heat. So it's been a few minutes. I let our little pot cool and now I'm gonna transfer it into the refrigerator to chill. You're supposed to let it partially set and then you add all the other garbage in. I don't know how long that will take. I guess I'll just be hanging out by the refrigerator for however long. So I guess this is what people did before there was YouTube or Netflix or anything at all. When you order a petticoat, they should really tell you how 
itchy it is. Like this is a nightmare. I'm gonna need to take this off. Before I do anything drastic like that, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff ready for when it is time to stir the junk in. So watch me do that. Okay, it says to dice two cups of chicken. This is nearly two cups and dicing chicken, how do you even? I'm just gonna wing it, I guess. No, we might have to cancel the jello because I cannot open this. Ooh. Oh, diced pimentos. I've never bought this and I've always wondered. Okay. All right, time to check this. It has been a million hours and I think it's finally time. Ooh. All right, it's show time. Okay, so I have all the rest of my ingredients that I need to drop into the goo at the ready and then we're transferring it into the ring. Luckily, Grant has texted me and he has to work late tonight. So there's still time for this to work. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like here goes nothing. Pineapple first. Bloop. Spread out, spread out. Oh, this is gonna look like jello vomit. I'm sorry to say that, but no, the chicken. This is a whole lot of chicken. Oh my gosh, my pot's not big enough. I made a mistake. Maybe I should transfer it to here. Oh my gosh, the choices I make in life. They are pretty much all questionable. When I started my channel, I never knew we would end up here. And I hope we never end up here again. Now I've got our green peppers. Not too many green peppers. I guess they're just adding them for color. And then here is our celery. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then this much pimento. That's like none. This was definitely like just for color. But I am so excited to get Grant to taste it. <laughs> After his long day at work, I'm horrible. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys, I officially feel guilty for bringing this into the world, or at least bringing it into your world. Like, oh. All right, I'm just gonna pop this right back into the fridge and then see what happens. I'm really not looking forward to tasting it, but uh, we've come this far, so. Here we go. I'm thinking it should be ready in about an hour or two, but I'm about ready to burn this petticoat. It itches so much, so it's coming off. There's a no way around it. It's coming off on camera. Here it goes. I'm done. Well, look who the cat dragged in. Look at what he did. He came home from work and then he wanted to change. He ran upstairs, came down like this. <laughs> All gussied up. Look at this. <laughs> How long have you had this? I need to interview you about it. 2008. I bought it at a Walmart in San Antonio. He remembers it so vividly. This is before ugly Christmas sweaters were a big deal. Oh. And so the first couple <laughs> years that I was wearing it, people didn't know if I was like serious or not. He's serious. <laughs> I was serious. But why did you buy it? Because I thought it was funny. Because I was just walking down this aisle buying beer at a Walmart or something. And uh, I saw this on the rack, and it's like, I have to have that. This is the man I married. Okay, first order of business, dinner, because it's really late and we're both starving. He just got home, so that needs to happen. And actually, the jello hasn't completely set yet. It's taking so much longer than I thought, and I'm not letting Grant see it until the big reveal. I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it at all. Are you going to eat a bite? Of course. Are you gonna get a slice? I dressed up for this. I'm gonna eat as much as I want. This guy, honestly, you're true for Down to clown. I've never seen this before. He hid it until we've been married for six months to bust yeah. it out. All the skeletons are coming oh, out. All the skeletons <laughs> are coming out. Okay, it's almost 11 o'clock. We've had dinner. I'm tired, Grant's tired. The whole world is tired. It's cold in here. I wanna go to bed. The bad news is, I don't think the jello mold is as firm as it should be. Like, yeah, it's not liquidy, but when I poke it, it just doesn't seem as firm as jello is supposed to be. Maybe I can't compare this jello to other jello. Maybe it's not supposed to be like other jello. <laughs> but really, I'm just sick of waiting, so I'm gonna get this out on a plate and we're gonna try it if it's the last thing I do. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> Are you ready? I cannot wait. Oh, 
I don't know about this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat this. You have to. When did I turn my channel into Fear Factor? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, That's what I'm talking about. What? Whose idea was this? It was my idea. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm not ready. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna try to be fast with it. Oh! Plop? Oh, it worked! Oh, it worked! It worked perfectly! Wow. Oh my gosh, this is my nightmare. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? <laughs> You can see every ingredient throughout, but it's not quite as like crystal clear as I thought it would be. I did see some pictures online where they looked perfectly clear and you could see every ingredient. Ew, look, it has like a little, a little bit hanging out. Mm. You're doing in portrait, portrait mode. mode. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I can do this. This is so nasty. Are, are you up for this? Is this gonna be your new favorite? I can't imagine anything I'd want more at 11 o'clock at night. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> the noise it's making. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. That it's just moist. moist. It's moist. It's the definition of moist. <laughs> I thought I would be able to, like, this smell Ooh. too. I can really smell it. When you took it out, I was like, oh, you probably have a this, but now when you slice it, it's like. This is what the slice looks like. It's just slowly traveling down the plate. Should we Bye. feed each other? No, 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 no. Not with that size of bite. He just got a chomp. I can usually choke something down, but. Oh, do you see that? It's jiggling. It's a jello jiggler. I don't want to do it. I can smell it. Now I have to do it. Are you okay? Are you dying? Oh. It's got mm. so much pineapple. It's like you get a taste of chicken and pineapple and bell pepper and celery. No, thank and the whole you. Thing, the whole thing is wrapped in like gooey, it's like congealed liquid. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot hang with this. Wow, people Ooh. ate this and liked it. I just I have a hard such a hard time believing that. Well, what got me was the crunchiness and the powerful flavor of celery. It was just like, hey. So the pineapple is such a strange. And it's and it's all such like separate flavors. That would have been kind of exciting if we were like, oh wait, we rediscovered something that was really good. Honestly, I mean, I can't imagine. Are you reconsidering the marriage? <laughs> yeah. Playing with this ring over here. Done. Ring on ring. I can't imagine coming home to this is like- You like, just oh. came home to this. I know, but like for real. <laughs> yeah, you got to eat a different dinner. I thought it was gonna be fine. I was gonna be like, oh, maybe I'll actually kind of like it a little bit. Like no big deal, I'll be cool. Cause I'll be like toughing out. Like, oh, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I kind of expected <laughs> and, and you to like, like it too. And, you, and you'd be like throwing up in the corner and I'm just like, can I have yours? I it was definitely it. worse than I imagine. Oh yeah. There's nothing redeeming about this. Yeah, it's just crazy that there are so many like savory jello salads out there. Like yeah. why did they keep making them if they're so wrong? Like there's ones with like shrimp in them. I could see the idea of a savory jello working. I can't. But not like this. Do you realize that my whole day has been leading up to this? Oh, I know. To this, I've been dreading it all day, really. What has my life become? I need an intervention from well, myself. I'm... We did it. Do not do this, by the way. You know what? We did it, so you don't have to. I'm kind of, I'm proud. I, this is one of those You're proud things. of me as your wife? I'm proud of you for taking on something new, but I'm proud of us for trying this. Now we have bragging rights. We can say we've done it. All right. I think that's all I've got for you tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry I brought this into the world, but I'm glad you're here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Christmas and a great New Year's Eve and everything. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and find me on social media. It's Leanne says everywhere and I love talking to you guys. And Thank you very much to my lovely assistant and test subject. How are we supposed to Helpful get this, the taste out of our mouths? Cookies. Cookies. We have magic cookie bars. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching. Let me know, what, what do you guys wanna see coming up? Give me, give me some ideas that aren't like the ideas.
that I have because I'm going nowhere good fast. Thanks, I love you. Bye, 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 bye. Oh, oh, oh. I look gray. What? Hey, I hope. No whispering. No whispering. No whispers. Sweater time. Sweater time.